Hello everybody, this is Pastor Dean and this is 5 Mesmerizing Minutes. I've got to give a shout out to Dory Hewitt. Dory Hewitt wrote me such a nice letter and I had a good time in responding back to her. You know, as I sit here and I pray and I reflect about the program and about my life and about my marriage and my kids and my ministry, I, 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 I say to myself, you know, you aren't thankful enough, Dean. God has given you so very much. I mean, just the air conditioning in this apartment during the summer is a tremendous gift from God. The heat in the winter, this beautiful apartment we live in. My, I'm almost 70 years old, and I don't have any kind of a major disease. Lord, I am so thankful, and I don't express my thanksgiving. I, I don't express those beautiful thoughts that are inside of me only because of the favor and the mercy and the love of Jesus Christ. Stop and think of your life. Stop and think of your circumstances right now. Maybe you're in the depths of poverty. I'm telling you, regardless of where, regardless of what your situation is, there is something that you can be thankful for. And if you can use that attitude of thankfulness and go before the Lord and use it as a seed and praise him because of it, God will reward you and God will help you in your situation. But you've got to plant a seed. It says um, in Psalm 18, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. I believe that, folks. I really believe it. Yeah, we have problems here in the ministry. I mean, it seems like we always have financial problems. Yeah, I've got to have a little part-time job uh, at Walmart as a cashier in order to keep the lights on in the ministry. But I shouldn't be complaining about it. I should be thanking God he gave me the opportunity to meet more people and to present Jesus Christ to others that I would never have met in other circumstances. I I show my love of Jesus to other people and and they recognize it. They're thankful for it. Yes, the Lord has been my strength. He's been my rock. He's been my fortress. He's been my deliverer. And I should be on my knees 24 hours a day praying in thanksgiving for everything he's done for me. I'm not a millionaire. I don't have fancy cars. We don't live a life of silk suits and diamond rings. But what God has given us, what God has provided for us is so beautiful. I want to say publicly to him, thank you. Thank you, my God. Thank you for giving me Jesus, my strength. And I will always trust in you, Father. I'll trust in Jesus. And thank you for depositing the Holy Spirit inside of me. You have been, Lord God, my shield and the horn of my salvation. You have been my stronghold. If, uh, if you had not shown me mercy, Lord, I would be dead to my sins. I would be probably right now in the midst of darkness and torment because I chose to live with the devil instead of making the smart choice of living with you. But you have exposed all that in your scripture, and I'm thankful for that, Lord. I'm thankful. I'm so thankful that I'm going to call upon you at every opportunity. You're worthy to be praised, Lord God. Worthy to be praised.
This is Pastor Dean. I love you very much, and please write to me. I'll write back. My email address is dean.peppin at gmail.com. Get into the attitude of being thankful, not just because it's Thanksgiving week that we're approaching, but God has done so much for you. Just think about it. It'll make you marvel. It'll make you say thank you. This is Pastor Dean for five mesmerizing minutes.